a series. My name is Bren, and we are going to be watching them at Charlotte tonight. They are in UMP, so this is kind of the randomized series. They swap between cars. So, last week, we saw B13's domination of the series. He was able to get his first win. First race of the season, he dominated, basically. We saw that last night. But, I look for someone else to be surprised. I feel like we're going to have a new winner this week. I said earlier that Eggs is really good, but there's also another person that's joining us. I think he won in another series for uh, the first race in another series as well. He won big blocks. He just joined us tonight. Um, his name is... Nebraska won in super lates. Kyle Mania won in big blocks, so I expect him to be strong. Rolling Thunder, of course, is another one who we expect top five. But yeah, it's it's Ward of Outlaws. It's some good racing, hopefully. They're going to start up the qualifying session very soon. Then they're going to follow with the heats. So I finally got informed what the heats are. So I am actually happy about that. I won't tell you guys lies this week. Because last week, I know it was a bit rough. I even deleted my stream by accident. That was a huge mistake. I apologize. So fastest in practice was Nebraska. So Nebraska might be the one to watch here. He's gonna be a lot. He's gonna be one to watch here, as he actually won a race earlier this week in Fars. So he's definitely one. I'm probably him. Okay. So Eggs is always my safe pick, but I feel like Nebraska. He his lap time in practice. I haven't seen him race, but he's already won a race. So I expect him to be up front. I suspect Rolling Thunder to be up front as well in Eggs. Eggs is always up there. Guy who surprised me last week was, I think it was, he's not currently on that list. They are now loading in. We're going to get in their qualifying session. All right. All right, here we go. We'll watch him qualifying. You see these lap times here. So Frost was second in practice. Cola, he's another kid. He's also really quick as well on these. And far, our rule word of outlaws. He's also another quick person, another quick driver. So we have a good field for tonight. It's also a big field. That's the thing. It's not like last. We had, uh, I think we had around 16 last time. I think there's, if there's over 18, if there's over 16, someone will go home. Is what I'm hearing reports. Someone will go home if we have over 18 drivers tonight. That'd be fun to watch. So. Guy I'm picking for tonight. I can't go wrong picking him. But Frosty, I think he gets his first win. Bums, I appear online, you dumb nuts. Here we go, this is qualifying. So we see Nebraska getting his lap back. Going around here. He was fastest in practice, so he's gonna be one. Frost in the 71. He's another quick guy. Barley surprised me last week. He was very quick. But we're in UP modifies this, this session, so it'll be fun to watch these guys. This is a different type of car, I think, from last week, if I'm not mistaken. Cola, another new driver. We didn't see him last week, but he's in the field tonight. Kyle Mania, he won. Another series, big blocks, so he's another one to watch. He's gonna be very quick tonight. Six trick bums. He's sitting in the infield waiting for his qualifying like downtown is new. B13, last week's winner in the field again. He's looking to capture another win one back to back. Touch your badge, he's in the field tonight. Matt Cadget, another person who I think raced last week. He had a decent finish. Sleeman back in the field. Sean for life. He's back in the field after having a great run. I think he finished second last week, so he had a great run. I expect him to be top five tonight, if he can build on the momentum. Bums is needy. Bums is needy. All right, give me a second, guys. Camo's online. All right, so they are doing their qualifying... 
Here we go, Suspect Bums going around for his qualified downtown. These cars, I'm not even capped to you. I suck at literally just remember them got smoked. I am not quick in this car, but that's one thing that we'll talk about another day. Here's Tom getting some laps in. B13, last week's winner in the 82. He's looking to go back to back here. Touch your badge in that number 32. Matt Cadget running that 99. Is it the 48? 48, my bad. Slayman in the 55. Doing his laps as well. So all these guys, I think only the only ones who haven't gone is Shun for Life Eggs. And maybe Young Money. Young Money is also one of those guys who runs through. He's decently quick. Who is moving the. B13 is driving with the tire. We have some guys doing their qualifying lives. Shot for life in the 12. We're right on board with him. Thank you for the invite. I will use that later on. Alright. Alright, we are done with Sean. Let's go on onboard with eggs. Pull out here. At Charlotte. And you will be my friends. So they like to arc it down, hit that bottom, and then roll it up. So it looks like the top plane might not be as dominant as we saw last week. Thunder, Corruption, and the 48 as well. 49, actually. Oh, into the wall goes Corruption. I think they are now done with their qualifier. Oh, now they're wrecking each other. Oh, lordy. Oh, god, they're all dead. Jesus Christ! Don't kill each other, boys. Oh, my god, it's bumping and banging. my audio. Audio should be good, but we only have one answer. Waiting for qualifying to end. You guys can just watch the chaos here. As I set it to 16 laps, tire remaining. We gotta go on board with eggs. Look at this. Oh my god, it's just. This is fun to watch, I will say. They are killing one another. Oh, hits the tire barrier into the wall. Set the heats now. I'm gonna invite to one of these heats. 
Step 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So somebody will go home tonight. There's over 18 drivers. There's 18 drivers for tonight. So somebody's going to go home in this field, and we don't know who it's going to be. So this seat is going to be determined who makes it or not. Is somebody going home? Because they have 18 in the VC. So somebody, we may have somebody going home for tonight, but it should be a good one. Uh, we're at Charlotte, so they're going to get the heat set up. I'm going to wait until they do that, and I'm going to accept the invite. So we will wait until they get in the lobby, and then we'll get going. So I will tell you, so for pole is going to be Nebraska, 13.298. So second place is, oh my God, why'd you scroll down, buddy? Oh, I got to leave the lobby. That's my bad. Sorry, guys. Second place is going to be Kyle Mania. Third place is going to be Barley. Fourth place is going to be Eggs. Running out the top five is currently not on my screen. <laughs> I'll get my other point of view real quick. Give me a second, guys. Sorry about that. I'm a little bit tired today. Uh, I'm ashamed to say that. Fifth is going to be Rolling Thunder. Sixth is going to be Cola. Oh, my God. Sean. You, even you got ads now, bruh. I gotta wait till the ad comes up. So we'll get the ad over with and I will get you the results for qualifying from six. My point of view literally left is. <laughs> Alright, so they got the qualifying. They're doing the heat. So the first heat's gonna be Nebraska, Suspect Bums, B13, Mac Hatchet, Eggs, and Illusion. So this should be a very strong heat. This is last week's heat. Basically, everyone who was in last week's race raced this race. That man targeted smug. Holy hell. Yeah, so Nebraska's looking like the strongest driver in the field right now. He looks like he's going to... His qualifying effort's really good, but I want to see how he is in this heat. Is he going to be as quick as he's been in qualifying in the heat? That's the question here. The dash is also up next. It's going to be inverse, so... It's going to be fun to watch both of these... These heats, it's going to be only a six-man. They do have three heats for tonight since there's technically eight in the field. Eighteen in the field. All right, so nobody is going to be missing the race. So nobody will be missing the race. Feature will be 100 laps.
Okay, let me let me get back to Alright, so they are getting set up. I am going to go over the points from last week. So, points from last week, it was very interesting. As we said before, the points leader after one week, we had one race last week. I know the stream didn't save, but I remind you, B13 was able to hold on, hold off Sean for life and Barley. So, B13 is currently your leader after he won at Durango Park. Second was Sean for life, who had a great run for himself, finishing second. Eggs finished third, Barley finished fourth, Rolling finished fifth, Six with Bums came in sixth, Mystical finished seventh, Hail eighth is gonna be Frost, ninth is gonna be Sleeman, Hailstorm in tenth, eleventh is gonna be Corruption, and then Billy H rounded out your field at Durango Park. Here they go into the heat. This is gonna be a six man heat. This has Bums. You have a lot of drivers that you guys will recognize from last week as well in this heat. Besides Nebraska, Nebraska and Illusion. Mac Hatchet, I don't think, ran last week. So we actually do have a lot of new drivers. This is going to be an interesting heat. I want to see if Nebraska can hold up. I feel like he's got a great car. But I want to see how it is against eggs. Oh, Nebraska. So here we go, Nebraska. Oh, takes over the lead immediately. Off to a strong start right behind him. It's going to be Eggs. Actually, right behind him is Suspect Bums. Takes over second place. That's a hot steam by the 33. I actually love that silver and gray. It looks pretty nice on, in my own, honestly. With only 11 to go, can Nebraska, can Suspect Bums track down Nebraska? He's been showing in practice. He's been the fastest car on the track. Coming to nine to go. They cross this line this time by. It's going to get tight between these top. Five, I think it is. They're all grunged up, Run, grouped up here. Even Mac Hatch is in here. It's only a small heat, but B13 and last week's winner sitting in fourth place. You know, he wants to move up, get past Eggs and Suspect Mums, who's holding on pretty steadily in second place currently during the season. But Eggs is challenging him. Here comes Eggs on the bottom lane. Gonna let him roll up. Still side by side, inning three and four. They cross the line, it should be six to go or seven to go. Seven to go. Coming to six to go. Here we go. Eggs dive into the bottom. The outside lane just keeps getting that runoff. You just see the outside lane power by Eggs every single time. A B13 is using the outside lane. Oh, so slide contact. Mac Hatchet hits B13. Oh my god, that was not a good slide out of a Mac, and B13 is not going to appreciate that. An illusion sits in last. But as we see, that leader, the leader has pulled away. This battling has allowed Nebraska to just start pulling away slowly from the top two as they keep battling bums and eggs here. The combat between those two, X is desperately trying to get around bums. When they come to the line, it's going to be three to go. Nebraska has clean air and bums just got cleared of eggs. What a run off that corner. Bums holds on to second. Eggs trying to get there. As we look back, here comes Eggs on the bottom lane like he's been trying to do. He just can't get the runoff without contact here. Oh, the slide! So close here. Good clean racing. Coming to the line. Gonna be two to go. After coming to white flag this time by. Eggs slides up. Here comes Bums on the inside lane. White flag in the air for the seat. Here we go. Nebraska comes down the front stretch. Three and four for the final time. Nebraska is going to win his heat for second place. Bums is going to hold on to second. Third place is going to be Eggs. And in fourth place is going to be Mac Hatchet. And fifth is going to be B13. And right out your field, it's going to be Illusion. So that was a great heat. As we saw, Nebraska did what he did in practice. He backed it up massively. He pulled away from these top three. From X, it's a contender in this field. X is not a, he is quick. I don't know if this is the car, but Nebraska has proven something tonight. He just looks like he has the best car out here. At least in bounds better than X, at least. It's crazy. But.
there's something called adjustments, and I feel like X, given the time, will make an adjustment as Nebraska runs at 13.2. Yeah, everyone else is running at 13.3, and he's running at 13.2. That is kind of ridiculous. So he is flying out there. All right, I'm going to back it out. They're going to do their quick dash, and we will rejoin when I get the invite again. So, my pick, I'm going to pick him at Nebraska. Nebraska just... Oh my god, he's he's too quick, bro. Based on those heat, that heat, and I think it inverses for the dash, but I feel like he's just gonna drive through the field again. As they're all joining up, I know there's some good guys like Kyle Mania. I know he's pretty quick. B13 is not gonna let it up. I know he's gonna be at there at the end, but I just don't know how quick everyone else is. I haven't seen their pace. Remember, I only watch one of these heats. Every heat, one heat had seven, one heat had five, and then the main one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight plus four, twelve, plus 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So 19 are going to be in the field for tonight's. It's going to be a big field. It's definitely going to be a bigger field than usual, but that could cause more. It could be either. A lot more action on the track or it could be a lot more chaos we'll see here tonight it will definitely be fun to watch remember there's a halfway caution it's gonna be a hundred laps here there is always a halfway caution remember if there's a caution before halfway they will not call the midway caution that is the key if it's close to 50 laps they will not call a midway caution that is how it will, works around here so it'll be fun to watch do i even have a win on this game i have one race see you guys I've run online. I'm a scholar. All right. Let's uh, let me check my stream real quick. <laughs> Here you see his home screen. Oh yeah, he's got that podcast tonight. The podcast at 10 p.m. Eastern. So tonight, also another news for Fars. Tonight we're gonna uh, on Friday, May 17th, this upcoming th Friday, they're gonna have a non-winners race. So be sure to tune in this Friday. I will probably be live. If I'm not live, then make sure to tune in on Suspect Nation if we stream it. If we don't stream it, I don't know. <laughs> So they are having a no winners race this weekend, so that'll be fun to watch as well. So I can't wait to watch that, especially since the all season is almost done. We start May 31st for NASCAR, and the championship for Xfinity is this weekend, this Saturday. So make sure to tune in, um, Suspect Nation. Uh, they're gonna be streaming on their Twitch as well. That will be a fun one to watch, as top four for Xfinity championship are gonna be. Irish Savage, Mr. Slidejob, and Suspect Rogue, but they actually delayed it, so it could be May 25th, so they delayed the race a week since one of the championship four couldn't attend, couldn't attend, so. <laughs> yeah, no, I will not be making 10 p.m. Eastern. I'm joking. 
I'm joking, uh, anyone. <laughs> I'm sorry, Spotted. If you want to join me, you can. Um, so, we're, they're just, I think they're still waiting to send up the lobby now. Uh, we are currently waiting on the invite slash waiting for the lobby to be set up. As they have 19 to drivers tonight, no one is going home. I, I've heard that from themselves. No one will be going home tonight, so we will, not, we will have a full field. So, I think they're going over discussion and everything. So I'm going to let that do that. Alright, they just invited me. So I'm going to join that. Alright, I'm going to join that. If it's too early, then shoot. I have to sign in. Oh, copyright. Damn it, game. Alright, I'm going to be watching this. So actually what's happening is that my point of view is not in the race. So that is what happened here. I apologize. So this is the dash here. I'm gonna try to get my field. Here they go. Cola. He used your dash leader. And remember, it's inverse. So Frost comes on the outside. He's currently sitting in third place. You see Barley, 77 here. Kyle Mania, another one of those, the, the 10 car Nebraska. We're gonna we're gonna be watching this 21 all night. He's one of the quickest cars we've seen in the field currently. He is just flying right now as he gets around him and bums are battling hard here as the 71 drives back to last. It's gonna be Barley. No, that's not Barley. That's Frost. So Frost drops all the way back to last, but Barley's still sitting in second. Currently the leader is gonna be that Cola machine. Cola is currently leading the field. So Cola's having a good run here. They're trying to win the dash. They're trying to get a point of view up. But yeah, Cola still leading over. Here we go, 77 up Barley, comes to the inside lane. Some contact between them, but this is, will this hold him up and give a chance for that 21 of Nebraska, who's been the quickest all night. He's trying to win this qualifying dash here. Still a good battle. Nebraska's actually streaming for me. Thank you, Nebraska. All right, here we go. Coming to white flag this time by. In the 77 on Barley, hold on, here comes Cola. Cola, the contact, coming out of the final corner. The final corner here. This is gonna come out of the final corner here, my bad. This track is long. Contact between 77, July, Cola go around. He flips, who won it? Barley wins the dash. Over Nebraska. What a heartbreaking way to end it for Kyle Man to finish third, Cole and fourth, who led basically the whole heat. But yeah, we saw there uh, Barley, um, or one of those, I think Cola got most affected by they finished fourth, and Frost finished fifth. Sixth was going to be Bums, so Bums did not have a good showing in that, but then again, that was the qualifying dash, if I'm not mistaken. So, all in all, it looked like good racing. I feel bad for Cola, because he ran up front. I know it was inverse, but... He had a good run there, and he had dropped all the way back from, I think, first to all the way back to pretty much last. So, it was not a great finish for him. But overall, I mean, I mean, it showed what I thought was there, but also who impressed me the most. I think it was somebody did beat, um, oh, my God. Somebody did beat that uh, 21. So, Kyle Manning finished third. So 21 of Nebraska did not win that heat, but I feel like he is still the strongest car in the field. He still looks to have the strongest car, and I still believe he is.
As you can see, I'm a little snuffy tonight, so I am a little sick, of course, but I'm trying to put on a show for you guys. I know it, we're not currently in the race, but we're going to get there eventually. They're still setting up the lobby stuff, so... Alright, so Barley is going to be your leader. It's going to be in Nebraska. Third place, they're going to they're setting up the lobby now. So it's going to be 80 laps tonight, so 40 laps is going to be your halfway point. So 80 lap feature should be a fun one at Charlotte Dirt Track. So definitely going to be one of those fun ones. I will make sure not to delete my stream this time. I apologize to anyone who wanted to watch the playback last week. I screwed up. That's my bad. I will not ha let that happen again under my watch. That was a error on my part. I did not want to do that. So that will not happen this week. If it happens again, you guys can criticize me. I don't care. Bums, I know it was mad. He fired me and rehired me somehow this week, so, you know, he likes me kind of, but I'm joking. Love you, bums. <clears throat> okay. Alright, so we're going to get this plugged in. Cola is going to start fourth. Frost in fifth. So Barley was able to steal the heat over... Nebraska. Now, I expect, I, did, I didn't, Eggs, I expect to be a lot stronger, but he didn't even make the dash, so. Eggs, one of those top drivers that I expect to be for the win here, is did not make the, he did not make the dash, so he looks to improve and make his way through the field tonight. He might have a chance at hardest charger. It might be these cars. Remember, some people have their preferences in cars, and he might not be good at UP um, or the track. I would continue to say that. There's preferences on any game. This might not this might not be his favorite track as well. So I will not but my pick for the win tonight is gonna be Nebraska. He is simple, he's quick, he looks quick. If you look quick, you feel quick, you are quick. So he, he looks the part and he looked like he was driving to the field pretty easily there. Just need a few more laps to get up to the leader. I mean this playing Jedi. Those are So this is the UMPs tonight. So this is one of those. They're smaller. I think they're more compact. Actually, I can just give you a show of them. Leaderboard. <laughs> All right. So UMP modifieds. So these are what they look like to give you guys a rundown. You've already seen two rounds of this, but yep, they're pretty cool. They're very small. They I don't know how they operate. They're very slidey, I think. I don't know how they work. I shouldn't say anything about these cars, but yeah, I haven't driven much on this game, but it's definitely a fun game that if you have a wheel, I recommend it. I tried using it on my wheel or my controller. It's, it's a lot different. It's honestly unstable as heck, but I'll use my wheel next time if I ever join up in there. Practice sessions for the fun of it. But yeah, this is definitely one of those games that I should check out more, but I don't have time for. But I'll definitely I'll try to do it in the future. Oh, I should turn that off. I don't want to shake. But yeah, they have 12. Is this that dash? I don't know how this works. Remember, this is the actual race. So they only have 12 for the actual race. Alright, so it's going to be 80 laps. 40 lap midway caution. <laughs> Suspect Larson Lover. Dude, bums, you messed up with all these names. I don't know who's who. So I have to guess who's who and Suspect Larson Lover. Who is that? He is Young Money. God, dude. I'm Suspect No Name to be fair, so I shouldn't be complaining. I, I named myself Suspect No Name. So I understand. Uh, nah. <laughs> okay. Ah. Alright, so they are getting going, getting everyone in the lobby. They're getting set up here. We're gonna probably go green in about five minutes. To go over the, to go over qualifying, I mean, 
on pole is gonna be on pole tonight is gonna be Barley. Next one's gonna be Nebraska. Kyle Mania finished qualified third. Fourth is gonna be Coca Cola. Fifth is gonna be Not Frost. Suspect Bombs and sixth. Seventh is gonna be Eggs. Eighth is gonna be Rolling Thunder. Shine for Life in ninth, and then Mac Hatchet rounds out your top ten. This is definitely one of those games where I feel like if you play this game a lot, it's actually a fun game. But yeah, this is one of those games that I feel like it, it gets better with experience. I can't wait for the night. It's going to be a long one. It's going to be a fast one as well. It's a short track. I can't wait. Everything is a short track in this game, I feel like. I think that's actually the truth. Everything is a short track in this game. That's a funny thing. I haven't adjusted this, so that's why it's like that. Would not run assist. I am not a wuss. So we are gonna try to get over to a stream. I don't know when they're gonna green here. Hopefully I get an invite. Ooh, Sleeman has ended his stream. That is not good news for me. That is one of my point of views. Hopefully Sean for Life doesn't give me an ad. So yeah, so they have the current 16 man field currently. I think they actually three people got eliminated. Alright, Bums has invited me, so we are going to get it underway. It's 80 lap feature, should be fun, and let's get it going. Alright, so it'll be a fun race tonight. We're at Charlotte, so this is one of those drives, as you see, it's going to be sunset, daytime. Oh, it's going to be such a fun race. Actually, it's more times night, it's more of a night race tonight, so... Nebraska is my pick. Nebraska showed me a lot of things during the heat, during practice. He just looked like the quickest car out there. But then again, somebody did beat him. Barley beat him out in the heats. But how long, how good is Nebraska's long-term pace? Remember, there's a competition caution halfway point, unless there's a caution before that point. So we will be watching the back half of the field and the front half to see who wrecks, who doesn't, if there's a wreck, if there's a caution. Two people went home. And we are underway at Charlotte for the UP. Let's say randomized the series and bars. Leader is Barley as the 21 already making a move on the lead. On the lead of Barley trying to take it. Kind of trick up the lead here as we see inside lane for the 21. Outside lane for the 77. And Barley is going to give it up to 21 of Nebraska as Nebraska takes the lead. Second place currently is being a battle team. Cola. Sean. It's a contact. That's actually not Sean, that is Sean. That's Kyle Mania in the 10 car. They have so many similar schemes. The Kyle Mania takes over seconds of contact between them though. So Kyle Mania and Nebraska, two new, two new, two of the newer guys. They actually won their respective series and bars last week in the first race. Big blocks and the other series. They have both won races this season. Other series though. B13, last week's winner. Currently sitting all the way back. You see in the red. Sitting all the way back here, battling around for like 14th. They're currently sitting in 14th place, battling with the 48. It should be Pepsi. He's also in the field, 77, 17. Yeah. Barley still chasing them as he currently sits in fourth place, right behind Frost. He's sitting in third, Cola. We saw him run really good in that qualifying session until the last moment where he accidentally directed the end. So he's trying to make sure he's good again. As he's making a move on X on the top plane, as X is on the bottom, he's going to be able to pass X here. So X car does not handle well on the bottom lane, so what we can see here. So we are hitting just under 10 to go. We're just hitting just under 70 to go. 
with currently 72 to go when we cross the line. So, we're going to hit this line this time by, it should be 71. Currently leader is Nebraska, my pig, I told you earlier, he's very strong. Bump sits in mid place, right behind the Pepsi. Cola battling with, I think it's the... Oh, shot for life, someone hits him. Top lane, someone gets loose up there. Shot for life slides up, here we go, battle for this, for sixth place, around sixth place right here. As X slides down on the bottom lane, trying to try to get around Sean here. Here we go. Here comes the nine. He's also making a pass here. Oh, someone in the wall up here. That's Cola. E Town just hanging on. Currently running third. No, oh, he's moving up his delta to the field right now, the 21. As he's battling with Pepsi or Cola. Hit three wide here. Three wide. Young money. Sean for life in the 32 with contacts. Sean gets around the boat. So Sean able to clear two people there. Young Money and I think that was Touch of Your Badge. Yeah, that was Touch of Your Badge in the 32. The so Touch of Your Badge holds onto his car and battling the B13 currently for last. So B13 goes from a winner to running at last. So this is not his track at all. B13 is hating this track choice. You see the 187. He's running in the field as well. So Barley still holding on to fourth place and hits the wall there. He's dropped back to fourth as the first second place would be Kyle Mania. So Kyle Mania is still sitting inside the top five, top three even, having a good run for himself. As we haven't had a caution, we might move around. Horses are dying over here, sorry. When we cross the line, we should be coming to around. 17 out of 18. 18 out of 80. So that'd be 62 to go, if I'm not mistaken. So 62 to go for this race at Charlotte Dirt Track. So it's one of those dirt ovals that I mean, a lot of people... This is what this game is. It's all dirt. It's all drifty. Cars handling the best, but Mania is getting caught. Third place is catching Mania right here. I can see it. It's getting closer and closer. Oh, Cole on that wall. Huge contact between the wall and himself. But Frost is catching. He's all over Mania. He's all over Kyle right here. He's trying to catch up to him for third, second place at the moment. Sitting in fourth, though, it's going to be Whirly, who's just chilling back there. He cannot catch up to these front two. Fifth place all the way back there. I think he's gonna be suspect bumps. Yeah, he's sitting no in front of him. A battle right here, bumps. X and downtown battling for a position right here. This is currently sixth place. They're battling for sixth. Here we go. Deep town in X makes some contact. Oh, back in the rear. Hit the wall, got loose. They save it. What a save back here. I think that's Sean for life. So many orange and yellow cars. I can't tell the difference between the cars. But Nebraska is the one steady, stable in the field. He is just dominating. I think he's pulled away from second and third. Yes, he has. So Nebraska is the dominant force. But remember, lap 40. It'll be a competition caution, a.k.a. halfway point. So we'll have a caution at the halfway point. Can Nebraska get a good start like he did here? He will be more aggressive on the restart. As we see, he's trying to catch up to the lap traffic. These people do not want to go a lap down before the state for this halfway break, a.k.a. caution. But he is flying right now in the 21. Let's want to go back to the field again. Eggs is just battling with this. 21. Him and the 21 of D Town have been battling all night. It's a fun to watch. But also back here, it's been a little bit chaotic between Sean from Live. Oh! Someone lagged right there. Touch your badge. Sean for Life and Rolling Thunder have been having a good battle back here as well. You see Pepsi ahead of them. Matt Catchett is just looking on to this huge pack of cars right in front of him. He's sitting currently, I think. Second to last. Mystical Bloom also trying to keep up with Sean for life as he's in the nine machine. Co 
Coming to 50 to go. Some of the crossing lines being 30, 49 to go. This path is going to get around the 57 to Young Money. Puts him in the wall, actually. Young Money gets loose! Ooh, saves it. Luck, good save by Young Money, who's able to keep it straight as him and Pepsi got in contact with one another. Carly's still just looking on in front of him. He just can't catch second and third right here. But Nebraska is just gone right here. He's trying to catch some live traffic and put some people down the lap. Trying to make sure they can't catch back up to him. See a nine car battling here. Nebraska is just going to gap the field tonight. He is just in his own league. Catch up to the rear of the field. You can see the three wide in front of him. Some lot traffic in front of him. It's going to be fun to watch these guys. This is currently for last. Look at those two in front of him. They're battling for 13th. As Nebraska slides in, trying to get around the ninth car of Mystical Bloom. As he's going to be able to clear him, he's going to be a lot Mystical Bloom. So Misty Balloon goes a lap down this early on. Next up is Sean for Life. Is Sean gonna go down that easy here? As we only have around three to go till we get to that stage break. Sean's gonna hold it. Oh, into the wall goes Sean as he's trying to hold on. Coming to the caution. Caution is out. So Nebraska punks it on the apron as he's gonna wait for everyone to catch up. So it bombs, holds on to fifth. Kyle Maney holds on to second. Bums is currently sitting in fifth. So Bums is having a good another good night. He's a top five driver. As they're lining it up. Oh, what is he doing? Oh, X is getting loose. Yeah, I want to see, do they do something differently here to keep up with Mania here? I feel like, I feel like you have to do something, Mania has to do something different here. Because Nebraska pulled away last time and it was so quick. Once he pulled away, you couldn't catch back up to him. It's going to be fun to watch here. Put around, when they go green, they'll be going green with around 39 to go. And the whole field packed up, now you see Cola sitting around fifth place this is gonna be the only time they're gonna be really slow like this so enjoy what you can as they go into the restart zone and they are underway here we go nebraska to the lead here comes mania on the inside lane as a battle for third between mania between nebraska between frost and the 3071 up frost and Yeah, Frost and Barley are battling for third and fourth. As you see, Frost able to clear Barley. No, he cannot slide up into the wall. No, they did not make, they make some contact, but here we go. Back and forth between the leaders and first place, but here we go. First is Barley. Look at this. Mania is keeping up with first place at the moment. Mania has got to keep in pouncing distance here. He wants to keep up with that 12, 21 of Nebraska. Can he keep up, though? That's the question. We haven't been able to see anyone who can keep up with this 21 currently so far in this race. That exit speed is just so good from Nebraska here. You see the difference. Nebraska is just a dominant car. I mean, there's no other question about it. He is putting on a show for the boys at the home. For boys at the home, but he's currently sitting in second though. It's Mania. He's not having like, too shabby of a night. And in seventh, in third place, he be Barley, so he's also having a good night. Might be a little bit of issues with names, because remember, there's a lot of new people, and it's also the second week. Names can be a little bit different. They're a little bit different from NASCAR. A little bit harder to say, but a lot harder to remember. Car but as we see, here comes Colas, running that outside lane, trying to get around. His co mate in Pepsi. Because he holding that bottom as Barley. Still sits in fifth place as third and fourth and racing. He's gonna start getting racy, second, third, and fourth. We're starting to get racy over here. But I see the battle instead of fighting, battling for the lead again. 
Town has lagged out, so we have one lag up in the night. As Young Money is still sitting in 14th after a bad night. We are taking last week's win are trying to move ourselves through the field again. He's having a rough night as well. Currently with your points leader, but we'll see after tonight as Eggs does not have a good run himself. Sean, second place finisher last week, is also been in the rear of the field tonight. Ross, though, has been up front, running really well. Barley, another guy who had a great finish last week as well, is running up front, so he might take for the points lead, if I'm not mistaken. He holds on to his current position, but the leader is Nebraska. He is just in a zone of his, uh, he's just in a different time zone right now. Flying right now. He is just cruising his way to a victory potentially here, with only 26 to go in the race. Bad for a second again. Mina trying to hold on. Here we go, battle here. Third and fourth, second, third and fourth is still up for grabs. Mid place potentially is still up for grabs as Cole is going to hit the wall, maybe hits the wall. Here comes Barley to the inside. Can he get around? He clears Mania, so Barley up to third. Second place. Third place is still going to be Mania. And fourth place will be Frost. So can Barley hunt down the leader of Nebraska? Can he hunt down that? Machinery. Does he have no speed here? That's going to be the question we can have to ask over the last 28 laps to go. The last 28 or so laps to go in this race. 22, my bad. 22 to go in the race. As you see, Barley takes second. Third place is up for grabs as well. This is not over between these three cars, by the way. Mania is not going to give up second place that easily as he's still all over Barley here. Fourth place, also Frost. He doesn't want to sit back and fall, finish fourth here. We're going to go back up to fifth place as they're starting to battle here. So we have Bums trying to make a pass on Cola here. Pessy, Pessy. My bad, there's Pessy and Cola, but Pessy riding that high lane. We have not seen a lot of people run that high lane, but it is working for him as he's able to hold off Bums here. The inside lane needs the preferred lane for most people. So this is a very, very surprising line by Pepsi. I, it's working out for him as he's currently sitting in place. I mean, he's running inside the top five currently. I mean, it's working for him as he goes back to the bottom lane. So he's able to hold on to fifth over bumps. He was challenging there. See Cola also run that high lane. They have the similar scheme. Barley still in second, but Nebraska around a half a second in front of these guys is starting to pull away again as we come to 16 to go. It's going to be interesting. I don't think they have the speed, but if this leader makes a mistake, it opens the door for all three of these machines. And I don't think it's over. I don't think Mania is going to... Kyle's gonna sit back there and let Barley finish second because Mania is still all over this 77 of Barley. As we come to 14th to go, Barley is getting challenged for second as Nebraska is just starting to slowly and slowly pull away. So Nebraska is looking to get a win here tonight. Barley looking to get a top three. Essentially, he wants Nebraska to make a mistake, but it's been very unlikely tonight as we haven't seen a lot of mistakes by Nebraska. I don't think we've seen any. It could happen late in the race, though. Do we see a wall tap as he's running the bottom lane coming up? You never know. There's, there's a lot of things that can happen in nerve racing. But it looks like he's going to keep his car clean. As we see, Ward Place silently is just sitting there as Frost. He's just chilling right now. Sitting in fourth. He's having a great night. Pepsi. Cola is also having a good night. Yeah, Pepsi also having a good night here. Pepsi currently sitting fifth. Has pulled away from Bums. So we're going to go up to Bums. And Bums is getting challenged here. No, actually for seventh place is a battle between... It's B13, so B13 is making his way through the field here. Now B13 is up to seventh place if we get around Cola here. As Cola's all over that wall. He is ripping that high lane. 
We're only seven to go for the race. We're gonna go back up to the leader. As we see, Nebraska coming up on the lap cars of Mac Hatchet or Country Badge. your badge and the 54 of Young Money. So touch your badge. Getting himself lapped here, trying to hold on. There we go. Mystical Bloom, that's my bad. He's in the nine car. I can get the numbers right after tonight. I will write that down. I need to get the roster. I need to ask for access to a channel. But as we go around, we're coming to Fortigo. Here in Nebraska has been leading every single lap since the green. Coming through clean. Look behind him, second place. Kyle Mania. Sitting in third now. He's the 77 of Barley has pulled away a little bit. So Barley's able to hold on to third. We're coming out of Got it. We're gonna be coming to white flag this time. Bye. White flag in the air. So this is the final lap. Coming around for the last time. This is gonna be a three and four. Nebraska is gonna win at Charlotte. Dirt Oval. What a showing by Nebraska. Barley finishes second. Kyle finishes third. Fourth place is gonna be Frost. This is gonna be Petsy. Bums sent it home in six. X is gonna finish seventh. Cola finishes eighth. Ninth is gonna be Sean for life and Mac Hatchet rounds out your top ten. We're gonna get the top three in the boot. My voice is killed. I apologize. I'm gonna get some water real quick. Um, make sure to include your audio if I have that. All right, let me adjust that real quick. I'll be, I'll be right back, boys. Give me a second. I'm getting some water. All right, I'll get to you guys in a second. So make sure you include your audio. So third place, I think, came home Mania. Um, welcome to the booth uh, if you already include your audio. Um, congrats on a top three. Um, I thought you had his first second. You almost had second. I mean, Barley got around you. But what were your thoughts on the race tonight? I feel like you had a good race overall. I mean, that, I mean, you showed speed, good pace as well. I mean, the leader was Nebraska had a good car all night. I mean, I think you sh you got close there at the minute. And what were your thoughts on the racing tonight? I thought the race all around was pretty good. I mean, in the start or whatever, I knew freaking it was going to be a one lane choo choo train around the bottom. So I knew I just had to try to get in line as fast as I could. Starting third helped. Oh, but uh, when Nebraska uh, going into one. I wasn't able to get as good at the start, so he got down under or in front of me, so I kind of just followed him for a little bit, and then something, I think uh, Cola tried going three wide with me and Barley, and then when we went into the corner, freaking, we ended up making contact, and I, uh, in that situation, I'm not lifting, because I was already on the bottom, and Cola decided to push it three wide going into three so i was like you know what i've already got position i'm just not gonna lift and barley ended up getting the worst end on that deal but then he ended up making it up after the competition caution 
Yeah, I mean, it was still, overall, I felt like it was a great race. It definitely looked fun from the booth. I mean, second, third, and fourth were just so close at one point. You guys were all neck and neck at the end of that, like, stage break. Once you guys reset, it was super fun to watch. Congrats on yeah. your top three. Um, Thank hopefully, you. we'll see you next week as well. All right, so on to second place. Barley, I mean, this is a great start. I think you ran at last week as well, and you also impressed me, I'm pretty sure. You finished, uh, where'd you finish last week as well? I know you finished second tonight. Did you run last week? If you're an included audio. Say, so, <laughs> yeah, I mean, top. Top two, top three, I mean, second place tonight, I mean, great run by you. Uh, I thought you had something at the end there at the start of that stage, but, I mean, the winner tonight was I had the most dominant car, but still, top two, I think you may be the points leader after tonight because B13 finished all the way down in seventh, so you may be able to take over the points lead. What are your thoughts on tonight's race, and do you think you maybe could have done something different? I mean, I don't know. Yeah, definitely. I will definitely be hearing from you a little bit more this season. I think you'll get a win very soon as well. <laughs> Congrats on your top three finish, second place. <laughs> All right, so tonight's winner and my pick. I picked you tonight after I saw you in practice. Your laps were so insane, Nebraska. Congrats on your win. Um, it was just a dominant performance by you. Um, what were, what, how would, how did you get your car set up so well for that track, and what were your thoughts on the racing? <laughs> Oh man, um, well, I kind of like this random track thing. It doesn't give anyone time to practice. I don't know, it's kind of fun. Um, you know, overall the racing, I didn't really see many people to be completely honest with you. I saw Barley at the start and Kyle at the caution. Um, Barley, I don't know if I made contact with you at the start. I was hoping that lane would be open. Um, I was trying to run you clean, big dog. Um, I had fun racing and. Thanks for having me. I probably won't run the series again after this uh, week. <laughs> I mean, still, um, I appreciate you showing out tonight. Uh, you definitely put on performance that uh, will be remembered for a little bit. <laughs> Congrats yeah, was, on your win. You, I mean, it was a dominant performance, to be honest with you, Nebraska. I, I mean, com to be completely honest and fair, if them two weren't racing as hard as they were and as clean as they were, I wouldn't have had such a big gap, I don't feel like. I feel like they would have been closer and maybe had a shot in all honesty but then two couldn't separate from each other enough to get going <laughs> they're racing and yeah, i had definitely. clean air and i could run whatever lane i want didn't have to worry about anyone underneath me or anything and i think that's what allowed me to get that room on them and just keep pulling on them and so they're racing yeah definitely all right so i'm gonna have to head out in a second guys uh congrats on your win um this, i think this is your second win also in fars just not in this series you also won the first race in another uh woo series in this league if i'm not mistaken yeah i won 360s i think it was congrats on that and as tonight but we'll see you guys next week next wednesday at 9 eastern same time peace also yep, check out later. the odor podcast i will be on there tonight if you guys don't know